Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, you guys might not know me, so let me introduce myself. My name is Nur Alicia Bintina Matari, and I'm a student in UITM Machang, Kelantan, and I'm currently taking my diploma in business studies. So this is my first ever YouTube video, and in this video, I would like to talk about my online distance learning experiences. So let's get started. Okay, and we're back. So, let's talk about um, my experience. So, my day usually starts um, at 8 on Sunday and Mondays. And the rest of the days usually start or weekends are on Saturday and Sunday. So, it's kind of hard for me to adapt at first. But now, I'm okay with it. Still adapting sometimes, but it's okay. So, let's talk about my daily classes okay so my daily classes um, are usually in the mornings 8 and 10 that's that's usually the first class of the day so it's either 8 sometimes 10 o'clock so um, I will usually have time in between classes so while waiting for the next class what I would do is that I would usually ride my stationary bike in my room for like 20 to 30 minutes depending on my mood and how tired I am because all my classes is tiring and um, sometimes I do hit workouts which is just just minor ones like jumping jacks or planks nothing too serious nothing too heavy and um, after that I will take a shower now I have my breakfast because if I don't have my breakfast I'm gonna get moody and I can't really focus on my work and that's not a good thing so I just eat anything that's in the kitchen because just to you know fill in my stomach, not nothing too heavy also because then I'll be sleepy. So also not a good thing. But then um yeah, so um it's it's important to eat before a class because sometimes like to be honest, it gets kind of boring in the middle of the class because you don't interact with anyone. And you just stare at the computer and the computer looks back at you so it's just the two of you and you have to do something to make sure that you're alert all the time so snack up so after I'm all freshened up and I've had my breakfast so I'm all energized I want to show you guys what my classes look like on a daily basis so let's go most of our classes are held on platforms such as Google Classroom, WhatsApp, Telegram, and even Google Meet. Now, I'm going to show you an example of my business mathematics class that is held on Google Classroom. So, this is how my class usually goes like. My lecturer will post today's lecture onto Google Classroom so we can watch it and understand it as many times as we want to. I will also show you other examples of how my class is held. Um, for example, I will show you how my fundamental of management class will be held. So stay tuned! For fundamentals of management, my lecturer chooses to use Google Drive where he will provide a slide and video explaining the topic we are learning so it's easy for us to understand and take any notes given. Okay, so that is basically what my daily online classes look like. And in conclusion to this video, I just want to say that ODL has its pros and cons. And it actually depends on how you um, adapt to the situation. Because in my opinion, um, ODL gives you a chance to learn how to be more independent. Because you have to manage your own time and you have to do everything on your own. So basically, it is a good way to develop uh, this good and positive trait for yourself. So that is if you want to look at it in a positive side. But if you want to look at it in a negative side, which is the cons of um, ODL, it's actually hard to engage with other people, especially your friends and lecturers if you have any questions or any problems, you're on your own. But it is not impossible. So you have to know that ODL teaches you that nothing is impossible. Personally, I thought that um, I thought I couldn't go through with ODL, but Alhamdulillah, I think I'm managing quite well. And I do hope that I pass with flying colors and that it's not as bad.
as it seems. So overall, it has taught me that we shouldn't judge a book by 